When our staff arrived the first morning in Turlock, um, we were there waiting for our volunteers. There were people that were actually working at the farms. Um, the people that were working at the farms to remove the birds included animal control officers, uh, but also included workers that they had hired to take the birds out. And there were a lot of dead birds, obviously, in the facility. The scene inside, I'm sure, was very gruesome um, because of the number of dead animals, but also um, and they would removed a lot, but the smells, I'm sure, were really intense. We had crates. We had to have um, poultry crates. They were asking for those instead of anything else. So we actually used some poultry crates from some of the other rescues, like Animal Place and Harvest Home. As soon as we had loaded up about 450 birds, we took those birds back to Orland. Um, and we wanted to get them back as quickly as possible to make sure we could continue doing fluids, continue doing anything like tube feeding, any antibiotics that were necessary, just to make sure that they were healthy and stable. The first group, when we took them out of the carriers and they put them into the main barn, um, we had bowls and bowls of water everywhere because we knew they were dehydrated. And a lot of the birds would like run over to the water and drink and drink and drink. And they were actually like throwing their heads back and water was splashing everywhere. And it was like they were really enjoying the water. Like it felt, it must have felt so incredible to get to drink after all that time. Um, the same with the food. Um, we gave them the pellets that they were gonna eat and they ate and ate and ate as much as they could eat and their little crops were really full. And we had to really watch because we didn't want anybody to overeat. But there was such an obvious like enjoyment and satisfaction with getting food and water after all that time. And it was really amazing to see. Um, a lot of the birds, um, once they would drink and once they would eat, would just go fall asleep. They were so exhausted. Because these are birds, again, that are just so depleted that you know they needed that food and they needed that water and they took as much as they could do and then they just they just needed to, to rest but it was an incredible thing to get to watch the first time that we allowed the birds outside access we actually opened the doors uh, and they wouldn't go outside uh, they they just didn't go they went to the threshold a couple of them peeked out most of them went right back in so we actually pushed them out the door um, and once we did that it was really incredible because they've never been outside so they, they're very, very cautious when they first go out. Like they don't run out. They're not like, woo, this is great. They get outside, they're like touching the ground for the first time. Uh, what these birds instinctually do is they eat little pieces of gravel um, or grit. It goes in their crop, it helps with their digestion. It's a very natural behavior for them. Um, a lot of them just plop down flat out in the sun and stretched out as far as they could. Going outside to them must have been the most amazing experience just to like look up in the sky and see the sun and have like this free open space and fresh air. The birds that we have now are currently very stable. Um, 50 of them have gone to a home. Um, the rest of them are really actually doing very well. They're eating on their own and they're drinking on their own. They're still doing some hand feeding and some fluids with them. Um, but they are strong enough that they're walking around. We actually had a few, because um, we have boxes for the different groups that were sick, we had a few that as they got better started jumping out of the boxes so they could hang out with the main flock, which was really nice to see. Because um, it shows they're getting much, much stronger. Um, one of the things that we're seeing with the birds is a lot of dust bathing. These are all things to, you have to remember that these birds have never, ever been able to do their natural behaviors. So one of the things you saw um, when they first came um, was them flapping their wings. Um, the other thing we saw, that, uh, and they do it all the time now, is they'll run straight across the barn as fast as they can and they flap, flap, flap their wings really hard um, because they're able to do that for the first time. So we're seeing the birds that are the healthiest running, flapping their wings, sunbathing, like when the sun comes into the barn because the whole wall comes down on this barn, uh, the sun will come in and they all just go in any piece of sunlight. They all just lay in that sun because these are birds that have never been allowed to be in the sun. They need sun, just like we need sun. They thrive on sun. They thrive on fresh air. They thrive on all the things that we thrive on. These are very lucky birds. They're very, very happy being able to go outside and enjoy being a chicken.